Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your gaming monk for the evening. Welcome to another edition of Characters with Character, a series about adapting characters to tabletop RPGs. Now, this newest entry was requested by Spade Ace, and I'll link his info in the description. Coming off of one underrated PS1 RPG, we come to another one in Valkyrie Profile's heroine, Leneth Valkyrie. One might ask how to maintain balance with a demigoddess like Leneth. While it might appear tricky, given the mechanics of the original game, it's important to remember that these are thematic interpretations, not literal ones. I'm not literally bringing the mechanics of the video game over to the tabletop version. I usually make these with a built-in assumption that it's the start of their particular journey. Additionally, this is why I start with pillars built around that. So, with that in mind, what are Lennis pillars? Let's start with the game system used. Given the style of story, a game that uses larger-than-life characters and grand implications, along with playing a divine figure, we need to reflect that in our choice of game. So, we'll be going with Godbound, which I have reviewed previously. Starting off, we'll go with ability scores. Of the six, we'll go with Strength 18, Dexterity 14, Constitution 15, Wisdom 18, Intelligence 16, and Charisma 18. This makes our saving throws to be Hardiness 16, Evasion 13, and Spirit 13. Some of these score results are due to the choice in words, but we'll go into that later. Much like last time, I'm bending the rules a little bit. In this case, the facts. The origin and the past career facts are going to be written as sealed for reasons those of you who have played the game will know. And I will not spoil it here for those who hadn't. Incidentally, if you haven't played Valkyrie Profile, fix that if you can. The trickier part of creation is the words. While there may be some that could fit more, in order to make it fit the best I can, I had to use supplemental material, something I tend to avoid with these sorts of things. And we'll be going with time, war, and sword. While Leneth can use a bow, her primary weapon is the sword most of the time. Each of these words grants certain innate benefits before divine gifts come into play. For example, the time word allows her to know the exact time, cannot be scribed by time effects, and may set wisdom to 18. The war word is from the Lexicon of the Throne supplement and allows us to raise intelligence to 18 and automatically grant a morale score of 12 to allied NPCs under command. Obviously, this would be specifically for the Ein Herjar. The sword word treats all weapon and unarmed attacks as magical, allows her to be immune to disarming, and can summon a melee weapon that they have used immediately to their hand as an instant action. We have six points to spend on divine gifts. Lesser gifts cost one point, greater gifts cost two, and adding an extra word costs three points. We'll be going with the following divine gifts. Echoes of the Past is a lesser time gift that allows you to commit effort to witness events in the past as if you were there. Steel Without End is a lesser sword gift that treats melee weapon attacks as 1d10 plus 1 damage die before calculating ability. General's Escort is a lesser war gift that allows you to commit effort for the day, calling one small mob of divine soldiers that are loyal to you. This mob has the stats of veteran soldiers, and effectively acts as a form of summoning Ein Herjar. Bending the rules a little, but it is the best fit. Voice of Command is another lesser war gift that allows you to issue commands as an action to a small mob or smaller group. Lastly, Pavis of Blood and Iron is a greater war gift that gives mobs under your control an invulnerable defense against attacks from lesser foes. The final part is equipment, which is something this game plays fairly loosely with. For the purpose of mechanics, we'll say that she has a sword, spear, and bow that she's able to bring to bear. Armor-wise, we'll go with medium to reflect the kind of plate that she wears, which also means that we have to deal with a minus four penalty to one saving throw, in this case hardiness, which is why that's listed as 16. And that is how I would handle Leneth Valkyrie at the start of her story in the original game. Now, this is only my interpretation, and I welcome any other takes on the character. Of course, if you've got a character you think should get the character of the character treatment, let me know in the comments or in the form in the description. Stay frosty, my friends!